Hello there, welcome once again. I am Balaji Vishwanathan, continuing through the journey on world history. In this lecture, we will see why cultures and civilizations traditionally expanded east-west instead of north-south. Let us look at the civilization map here. We can see that the first three civilizations, the Sumer, Nile Valley and Indus Valley are all along the same line. And you can even extend this all the way to the Yellow River and the Yangtze. Interestingly, if you plot the major religions of the world, such as say Judaism and Christianity here, uh, Islam here, um, Hinduism, Jainism, Sikhism and Buddhism here, and Taoism and uh, Confucianism here, they are all along the similar line. Coming back, let us move to Europe. You can see huge difference in the north-south versus the east-west axis. For instance, London is far more closer to say Morocco than to say Moscow. However, historically the interactions between England and Russia were far more than England and Morocco. The royals intermarried east-west instead of north-south. Again, in most cultural parameters, Morocco is far more closer to say Saudi Arabia than to its much more closer neighbours such as Ghana and uh, Benin etc. In a way, we sort of see a Christian rectangle that developed over here an Islamic rectangle that developed over here and a sort of uh, Hindu-Buddhist uh, rectangle that developed over here. The key factor here is the climate. Across north-south axis, there is a change in climate, while across the east-west axis, there is little change in climate, allowing for similar crops to be grown and similar government systems to be managed. Now you can see the advantage Eurasia has. For that, I will bring in another map. Eurasia has a great spread in the east-west direction. Thus, the wheat crop that originated in the Levant that could be easily moved to Britain as easily as it could be moved to India or China. On the other hand, crops that grew in South America cannot be easily moved due to the limited extent of the east-west uh, direction. Look at the poor Mayans or the Incas or the Aztecs for instance. They have very limited room to move east-west due to the constraints of oceans on the both sides of them. Thus, they had to be content with smaller cultural interactions and smaller sizes of empires despite huge advancements in agriculture. The same is true with southern India where empires were constrained by limited room to spread east-west. Thus, the southern empires such as the Cholas looked much more closer to Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Cambodia and Malaysia than looked to, uh, to expand into the north. Coming back to the Americas, the countries in the Americas that have the largest east-west extent are the United States and Canada. Not surprisingly, these are the wealthiest countries in the Americas. Interesting thing is, you can see a strong cultural divide in the few countries with a large north-south axis that have all been united in the recent centuries. North China has a strong cultural and economic difference from the South. North speaks Mandarin, eats more of wheat noodles, while the South speaks Cantonese and eats more of rice. Religious practice also differed between the two. You can see the same difference in India. Again, the North eats rice, while South eats rice. Again, the language systems are different and there are also historic cultural differences between the two. Like in India, there have been worries in China that the South might split from the North like it happened so many times in Chinese history. Such a strong difference exists in the US too. The North has a significant cultural difference from the South and it was very very close to being split along the North-South axis during the Civil War in 1861. Now you can understand why the North-South politics play such a huge role in many large countries, why empires typically tended to expand East-West and also why southern India had fewer invasions. In summary, cultures and civilizations tended to spread in the east-west axis due to the similarity of climatic conditions. In regions where the east-west extent was limited due to geography, civilizations struggled to both connect with other cultures as well as grow large empires.